Daniel's story isn't going away. You said you'd hotline. Hello. Good morning, Pedro. Thanks for taking my call and accepting the charges, you know, because of this government shutdown. Oh, uh, yeah, the shutdown. How are you holding up while everything's shut down? You know, frankly, nothing is being accomplished today. Or as the losers on Capitol Hill call it, Monday. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know, the White House butlers have been off since the weekend, so I had no one to order and pick up my Big Macs for me. And we're running low on Diet Coke. It's really bad here. Oh, no, I am sorry to hear that, man. <laughs> Any progress being made in getting the government back up and running? Please tell us yes. There's been absolutely no movement, just like Melania's face after a Botox injection. Oh, Nothing. man. <laughs> Nothing. Well, how long do you think we could go on like this, really? You know, it could go on for a long time, or it could be over right away. I mean, nobody really knows. It all depends on Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Well, why her? She's like the White House press secretary. Yeah, if Sarah comes out of her hole and sees her very heavy eye shadow, seriously, she puts on a lot, those googly eyes of hers. We could easily have six more weeks of shutdown. Okay. Not to worry, though. Whether she sees it or not, I'll be looking for a solution on the golf course, yeah. believe me. I solve lots of problems when I'm there. Seriously, I can assure you, once the shutdown's over, the government will go back to being its corrupt, well-lobbied machine like it was before. That I can tell oh, you. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Well, like you've always said, you're a deal maker, so you'd be the one to end it, right? That's true. I make huge deals, Pedro. But look, nobody knows what's going on with this shutdown. I mean, they really don't. It's like Arbor Day. They have no idea how to celebrate it. I'm thinking maybe we should barbecue. I can't wait to see what everybody gets me as a present. It's so exciting. <laughs> And you say you're still going to get this border wall built. Is that true? We're absolutely 100% going to build the wall. And i got to be honest, the only reason we haven't started it yet is because Home Depot promised that they were going to give me a tremendous discount. But Lowe's gave me a better deal on the 300,000 miles of cyclone fencing I'm going to need. And I signed up to become a lumber club member, too. <laughs> I hope the shutdown's done by the end of the week. we got to pick it up on Friday. Your relatives might be in the parking lot when we get it, Pedro. Oh, okay, yeah, really. Is there a message you want to send the Democrats right now? I do have a message for uh, Chuck Schumer, actually. We could probably put an end to this whole ridiculous shutdown if Chuck can set up a closed-door meeting with me and his cousin Amy Schumer. She's so funny. Dog's dirty. I like that, too. She's a little thick, but incredibly sexy. She really is. <laughs> I didn't know they were... Hey, hey, now the Stormy Daniels story isn't going away. You said you didn't pay her hush money. The details she gives in this article, did you really make her watch Shark Week? Okay, fake news. Look, I don't know where this woman got this information. I've never forced any woman to do this. We don't just watch Shark Week. If I really want to get women in the mood, I turn on HGTV's Fixer Upper with Chip and Joanna Gaines. They're adorable. <laughs> And that's when the ladies start to get very excited. So then I switch to House Centers International, turn things up a notch. I might even switch on to Storage Wars, which gets me to second base. And then when I want to close the deal, I go to the Hammerhead episode of Shark Week. Those Hammerheads look just like my little Donnie, which isn't little at all. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, she says you asked her to spank you with a copy of Fortune magazine with your pick on the cover. This is more crazy talk, all right? Totally made up story. That's so ridiculous. I always have women hit me with a copy of Forbes or Business Week. Much thicker and sturdier covers on that. Yeah, all right. And one last thing. Stormy said you said she was beautiful and smart, just like your daughter Ivanka. Is that true? You know, frankly, that's so incredibly offensive. I would never compare this woman or any other woman to my daughter Ivanka because there really is no comparison. Ivanka's porcelain-like skin, her perky, normal, human woman-sized breasts, they're almost man-like intelligence. Oh, okay, okay. Thanks <laughs> I for could go on. <laughs> yeah, you could. Thanks for taking the time. No problem. I already DVR'd Fox and Friends so I can watch it after I hang up with you losers.